Oh my God. I still think I got water in my ears. Okay. Hey. I am so hot. No. Finally got in my room. It's cool enough. Thank God for air conditioning. Um, I just got done eating. Well, you saw my pictures from the restaurant. You know, I ordered all that extra food just so, you know, in case I get hungry throughout the day. Give me a break. And I'm going back for dinner tonight and I'm having what? Steak. So then I get that out of my system. Well, for the, the day, of course. Anyways, so, you know, I figured I was going to rent a car for a couple days um, because I got, come home on Wednesday morning and, oh, here's a little block. Will that hold my phone? No, I don't think so. It Sorry, I should have prepared all this before. Beforehand. <laughs> Okay, forget it. So I was going to rent a car for the day. Or not for the day, for the next two days. So I think um, $168.15 American cents um, for two days. Uh, unlimited mileage. And the insurance is a really good deal. I mean, isn't it? I don't ever rent a car, so I don't... I think that's a good day. Yeah, I mean, a good deal. Two days. You know, so if I rent it tomorrow, get it tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., I return it Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., and I leave here at 9 <laughs> to go to the airport. That's a fucking great deal. Oh, I'm sorry, F-bomb. Um, so <laughs> I've been working on that. <laughs> I'm telling you that ayahuasca shit works. Um, my F-bombs have, like, went down to minimal. Um, so anyways, um, we rent that, but... Uh, I brought my two credit cards and they're both debit and they can't take visa debit here. So I don't have a, um, a credit card to rent those, that car, damn it. You know, which is kind of sad because I was going to go tonight to Timorindo, Timorindo, um, where the rest of the clients went to the town they went to, um, before they go home. Most of us are have stayed in a few days afterwards to still process the shit is still pro it's still coming to me people it's still processing and that's what they highly recommend is do not get on a plane right after you do this at least take one to multiple days in Costa Rica and relax so you can process stuff you don't want to just hurry home and plug back into the matrix you know get on a plane let alone right cramped next to somebody. Um, but I think two people did do that. And the rest of us are all like, Psh. I originally well, booked a room in Tamarindo, but that's like almost two hours away from here, the airport. Um, so m never being here before, I was a little bit nervous because I have to get a COVID test to, I mean, the morning of the flight to come back to America. And my flight's not till like 1130 in the afternoon. But I had to book my COVID test at the airport for 6.30 in the morning. So I'm all like, fudge, where am I going to get a taxi? Two hours away uh, in Tamarindo. I don't know this country. I don't speak the language, which really is, doesn't matter. Um, and um, I was scared about it. So um, that means I would have had to have left at, what, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30? Yeah, 4.30 to get to the airport in time in the morning so um i changed it back to the ho hotel i stayed i came a day early so i changed it back to that hotel which is one mile from the airport uh and i made my reservation at the airport for the covid test paid 65 dollars for that um and uh i'm here staying here it's a nice it's a it's the hilton garden inn so it's a nice i mean it's a nice hotel it's good it's close whatever next time i know next time i know what to do so it, that's great because there's definitely going to be a next time and a time after that and hopefully a time after that you know and so on um but here i am and and you know what's so funny well it's, actually it's not very funny at all um the hilton which is a good thing they offer the COVID test so before my flight i would have just called here at the hotel and said i need my covid test and they'll send a nurse right up to my room give me the covid test and i'll have my results in a half hour and off i go 
And at this airport, they say you have to be there four hours before your flight to do your COVID test and all blah, blah, blah. So that's why I had to get back here. But um, you know what? I'm not doing the airport COVID. I'm sorry I lost $65. That's okay. I have thrown away a lot more money than that on absolutely nothing in my lifetime. So I'm okay with that. And I'll just pay another $65 at the Hilton the day of two hours before my flight and then go. You know, that way I can have breakfast. Why does everything revolve around food with me? Fuck. Uh, that's two. Okay, I'm keeping count. Damn it. Anyways, shoot. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, lunch was so good. Oh, no, back to the car thing. So I can't rent the car, okay? And, um, which I'm kind of, which I was kind of bummed about. But there's a reason I can't rent that damn car. Because right next to the uh, car rental thing, you know, it's two desks next to each other, Alamo, and then the package deals. Like, I have always wanted to go to Hot Springs and um, go in them <laughs> and do a mud bath and all that stuff. But I never have because either I'm like, too heavy and I got bad skin, you know, and I, I just, if anybody knows Mickey, Mickey would never go into a hot spring or a mud bath with people. I would never do that. Okay. Ever in my life. But since Mother Ayahuasca told me, Mickey, just do it. No fear. When I, you know, what am I supposed to do? She told me, you could be successful at whatever you choose, Mickey. Just do it. No fear. So I figured, what the hell? It's always been on my bucket list at the bottom where I know I would have never accomplished it. And trust me, I got a bucket list. Well, actually, I think I've filled up most of it, to be honest with you. Um, and it's long. But, um, and I booked it. And I'm going tomorrow morning at um, 7.30 in the morning. I told her I want the earliest earliest booking time I can go and um, go do it, you know. And I figure earlier it's not going to be as hot outside um, because it gets flipping hot here. Okay, I'm like sitting on the equator, people. You know what I mean? Uh, so I booked it for tomorrow morning. And it was a good, it cost $190. But here's the deal. Here's the whole flipping get down. And it's good. Flipping. You got that? Good. Um, I, they pick me up at 7.30 in the morning, drive me to the volcano where the hot spring says, talk about some good hot spring water, right? Uh, or hot mud bath. And I go there. I spend, I have until 6 p.m. Okay, but I won't be there that long, please. Um, I'd be like a fucking big chicken. Damn it, took us the F word. Um, I'd be like a pork roast or something by the time. Boiled chicken. Um, <laughs> get out of that water. But they take you there. It's a 45-minute drive. You can spend as much time as you want pretty much in the hot springs. But it, at noon, they break for lunch. So I get a meal with that and everything. Um, and then, you know, I can get back into the hot springs or I can like travel back. Um, so I figured, wow, you know, for 190 bucks, that's not a bad, bad deal at all. I don't think to spend the afternoon at a volcanic, um, hot spring and mud bath, you know, and I'm so <laughs> proud of myself. I told him, heck yeah, sign me up. I'm just going to do it. That's my new life. You know, just do it, Mickey. No fear. Okay. Stop it. God, and that's exactly what she told me. And I'm great. And, you know, my, my, I'm, look at this after that food, the Coke, and all this. Come on. Look, look. What do we have here? Where is it? Okay. What am I drinking? A glass of water. Okay. I got myself two bottles of water. What? Don't even think about saying that. Um, and, you know, I never, I never said anything about candy in my intention. All right, just so you people know, that wasn't involved, so I can do candy still. Or, you know, I've been craving chocolate, so, like, I can still do that, M&M's. And I like, 
And popcorn's healthy for you, right? With a little caramel on it. <laughs> okay, one, one step at a time, people. Work with me here. Anyways, I'm feeling really good. Um, at, at, you know, on my way over here on the airplane, I had a cocktail. You know, and I'm not sure a drinker, but I really wanted one really bad. And, you know, you're not supposed to drink before the whole thing. We'll talk about that another time. If you really want to find out and go, we'll talk. Anyways, we'll leave it at that. Um, so I really had to have a cocktail. And, um, <laughs> right, so I made a double. Because you know those little flipping bottles, right? Come on. Even the lady next to me goes, wow, $9 for that vodka? And I was all like, right? And she goes, I do too. And I was like, do you think that's okay? I, because it was in the morning. I'm like, she's all like, honey, of course it's okay. So I got a double, you know, and I would, it was perfect. I felt good going away. But, you know, oddly and strangely and beautifully enough, I have no desire to drink alcohol or, you know, or like if, even if I wanted to, I mean, it's my desires have gone I have no desire to watch porn um and that's huge no <laughs> I know Kevin's probably there like going what <laughs> I'm so proud of you honey no anyways you know that was one of my addictions um and that doesn't make me a bad person you know and when I say porn it's like gay men porn okay that's the only kind of porn I watch um although I have seen this horse and guy thing once no I'm just kidding um but uh, I am so happy. I feel so good. I have so much energy, way too much. I wake up every morning at 3 o'clock in the morning ready to go. So I have to lay my ass down, and then I can do it till 5 o'clock, and I'm up. Life is good. Love y'all. <laughs> I better come. I'm trying to lay my ass down, right? I'm, like, waiting to take a nap, which I can't do. I should just go take a cold shower. It'd be my third one for today. <sighs> Bye.